Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Motivational Monday. Every Monday in January I am trying to share a video that I think will motivate you to get something done in your house. I'm thinking most of you probably have the same challenges that I have right now where a lot of things in the house have kind of gotten out of control around the holidays. So today I am going to be tackling the vanity area and the shower in my bathroom that is very much consumed with lots of beauty products right now. Since it's myself and my two daughters and we love beauty products and have received a lot for Christmas, it's, it's gotten a little bit out of control. So I thought I would inspire you and inspire myself at the same time because making videos actually helps me to follow through with it and tackle that area of the house today. So hopefully you find this helpful or entertaining and we are going to head into my bathroom and I am going to show you the real deal, what it looks like right now. Okay guys, so I'm going to make you feel really good about your shower situation right now because this is ridiculous <laughs> with three girls in the house right after Christmas. Lots of beauty products are piling up. Usually there is nothing on this bench and now there is all kinds of stuff. We have the bath puffs here, which I really would like to replace the little hooks that they're on because they're really getting nasty or just think of a totally different way to hang those. And then we have more products up here. We have more over here lined up. It's kind of a ridiculous amount of beauty products right now. And then over here, this is kind of hard for me to show you without actually climbing into the shower. <laughs> and then we also have more beauty products hanging up here. So what I've done is I took this basket and I asked everyone in the family to put in the basket what they use. And if they don't use it, to leave it in the shower. So this is everything that everyone has selected, including myself and whatever is left in here I can get rid of. I told the girls that they do not do not necessarily need to keep all of the sugar scrubs in here because some of them are seasonal so maybe they can keep some in a different location or maybe I can store them somewhere and we can do maybe one sugar scrub at a time because I don't know if you've ever used them but sometimes water gets in them and they get kind of funky so you're better off just using up one at a time. Okay, so here is the final reveal of the shower. And I mean, there's still obviously a good amount of stuff in here, but way better than it was before. So up here, we have the body washes that everyone is currently using. I managed to find two new hooks, so I have replaced these two. I need to get two more to replace those, but that worked out well. And then we have our shampoo and conditioner. And then this top shelf is my shampoo, conditioner, and shaving cream, and then we narrowed it down to three body scrubs. <laughs> That's okay, I don't mind because they fit perfectly there so it's not really bothering me and they can't really get wet because they're behind the shower so that's not too bad. And that's everything. So I am so glad that that is done and we were able to um, get a lot of stuff out of here. So that worked out really well. And then in addition to that, this is our countertop. So lots of stuff piling up here as well. I really like to keep these sanitizing alcohol wipes out because my daughter is using that charcoal toothpaste, which if you guys have ever used it, you know what a mess it is. So every time she brushes her teeth, she needs to wipe the sink down with one of these wipes. So I'm keeping them out for now. And then this is just brushes, so I'm not gonna show you that. But we just have a ridiculous amount of product and random things. This is all of my hair supplies, but then there's also more products just thrown in here. Nail polish remover, just because it doesn't fit anywhere else. And then more products in here, more in here. I mean, this is really, really has gotten out of control. Everyone has been home from school and just kind of throwing things wherever they fit and it's really gotten out of control. So this is all of my nail polishes, everything. I don't even know why there's a, <laughs> a charging cord in there as well. And then on this side, actually these are my husband's drawers, so I'm not gonna show those just because, you know, privacy and whatnot. <laughs> but in here we just keep toilet paper, which I need to restock, extra bath puffs, um, light bulbs. This is a toothbrush I use for cleaning and a bunch of sanitizers and room sprays. 
So everything is really not very well organized right now. Feminine products, Lysol, baby powder, wipes, bath salts. And like you can see, there's really no rhyme or reason to the organization that I once had in here. And this is how I had things organized at one time. Everything is labeled. And I guess this stuff is pretty well organized still, but I feel like this bin right here is basically empty. I don't really think I'm storing anything in there right now. So I can probably repurpose that in a better way. And also my travel stuff up top, I might be able to figure out something different with that. And then this drawer here is really not being well utilized. Like you can just tell it's just random stuff. A lot of it is probably just garbage actually. And then in here we have face products, deodorant. I mean, this was all really well organized at one point in time. And then my makeup, which basically what I've been doing lately is just pulling my makeup bag out and using that since summer vacation. So whatever makeup I brought on vacation is still what I'm using out of that bag. Even though these bins, if you watched previous videos where I showed you makeup organization and this as well has all of my stuff in it. So I definitely need to kind of pull everything out and reorganize all of this stuff, maybe in a different way this time. All right, so I'm trying to figure out where I should begin in this area of the bathroom. And it's just feeling overwhelming because there's so many different areas that I store things all through here as well. So I think what I'm gonna do is start up here and just work my way down and around and then finish with this area over here. So that's the plan and I'm gonna get started. surely I'm about an hour and a half in and so far I did this cabinet back there and the bottom cabinet I've only done half of the vanity <laughs> but I'm really glad that I did it and I'm going to show you how far I've come so far okay so when we open this up I have all of my soaps up here and then over here are all of my eyeshadows and then down here I have lipsticks foundation blush setting spray, stuff like that. And then in here are all of my brushes and eyeliners and mascaras. And then finally down here, this Lazy Susan houses all of my skincare. So face wash and moisturizer and things like that. And then tucked away on the side are just some body sprays and perfumes. I don't really have very much of that. And then way in the back, I know I've showed you guys this before, but those two perfumes way in the back once belonged to my grandmother a very long time ago. And I just hold on to them. And then in this drawer, I just have kind of like random stuff that gets lost in the shuffle. So some hair ties and scissors and these uh, little mini razors. And then this drawer has all of our brushes. Here I have hair ties, shower caps, and then I have these cotton swabs for removing makeup and using nail polish remover. Over here, I have a mini mirror and I have one of these plugins. And over here are a couple of night lights that I keep in the bathroom sometimes, as well as the little bulbs that need to be replaced in them once in a while. And then this is all of the hair care stuff. So it's all of our curling irons and straightening irons. This is my heat protecting street guard and then some hairspray. So that's basically all of the hair products. And then moving up here in this top drawer are all of the nail polishes. I threw out quite a lot. These are all of my Zoya nail polishes. I like how they come packaged like this. This way I can 
easily display them. And then I just have a couple of bins where I throw some polishes in as well. The Color Street nail strips that I use all of the time that I'm wearing right now, I keep those in a file in my office. I just have a little compartment in my desk where I stack them because I usually end up doing my nails sitting at my desk. Okay, and then in this drawer, we have the sanitizing alcohol wipes. I have some jewelry cleaner here. And then here I have disposable razors and then I have some Venus razors. Um, the nail polish remover is in the back here. And then I just have some makeup wipes that I haven't opened yet. So I'm just tucking those away for now. And finally, in this drawer is kind of bath products. So it's bath salts, bath bombs, body lotion. And then back here I have like some face masks. And I also have like some foot masks and foot lotion back there as well. So <laughs> that is half of the vanity. And I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and then we will continue on this side of the room. container is my container of all my travel size items so these I actually refill with the shampoo and conditioner that I use so I'm going to keep those on the side here I love this um, little container that I have because it has the elastic on the side so I can put things here for easy access and then this is mostly mostly um, Disney stuff that I've collected over the years and I have some glass containers I actually just rinse them out and I'm drying them off so these are all ready to go for when I'm traveling. I also have my travel size containers in here that I can refill as needed. And that's going to go back on the top shelf. All right, I just wanted to give you guys an update. And now Madison is involved in the process. She's helping out. Okay. Um, so she's cleaning out. This drawer has toilet paper and room sprays and another plug-in. And then let me just show you what I've done so far. I've been working on this for a while. So on the very top shelf is all of my makeup bags are in that Mickey Mouse bag. And then this container has all of my travel size little containers. I just put it in there because it just looks nicer. And then over here, rather than labeling this just for hand soap, I have all of my extra just bathroom products in there. So there's shaving cream, hand soap, shampoo, bathroom cups, just anything that I have an, a surplus of. And then down here, I was finally able to fit all of the mouthwash containers that I have because we all use different mouthwash. So that takes up a lot of space. I have the cups in the back. I have the, um, fl the floss picks here and the toothbrushes. So this is complete. I am so glad it's done. And we are doing the last thing right now. But also I have all of these travel size um, toothbrush holders so I'm just bleaching them I just have some bleach and water I'm soaking them and then I'm going to put them all in this bag and I'll fit them in there somewhere as well okay Madison's going to show her work the part that she did okay so first we got the books and magazines because <laughs> obviously we read what we go to the bathroom <laughs> you're not supposed to say that to people <laughs> then we have some baby powder some wipes, toilet paper, a light bulb, mm -hmm. and some room sprays. Very nice, very organized, good job. Then we have some hand sanitizer, lotion, tissues, and some random phone holder that mom wanted to put in here. <laughs> and then we have some room scents, pads and tampons. Some feminine products. Very nice. We are so organized now. Looks good. And I like your comfy. You. you look cozy. <laughs> so that was a lot of work, but it's done. Look at how nice and clean the countertop looks. So I got this for Christmas from my mom and it has the Japanese cherry blossom scent in it, which is my favorite. And then this is just a Scentsy candle, but I don't know, my bathroom's kind of a beachy theme. Oh look, is this broken? Looks like the rope might have broken off. But anyway, I just thought it kind of fit the vibe in here. 
and I put the body lotion in this decanter so it just looks nicer on the countertop. And then I just decided to keep this in the container that it's in because I think it actually does look cute. And there's my toothbrush. And that is everything. And there's my toothbrush. And there's my toothbrush just standing there all alone. Why is your toothbrush there? <laughs> because it plugs in. So it has to, to charge. Be... Well, yeah, kind of. I just keep it charging all the time. I don't um, know. And it is almost nine o'clock at night. This has been a pretty big project that I took on today. <laughs> but I'm so glad that it's done. Everything looks good. Let's do a quick walkthrough recap. I'm not gonna describe everything because I already did. But here is the first cabinet that we started working on this morning. I'll let Madison open all the compartments. And then it's kind of a junk drawer, really. It's just a bunch of random stuff in that drawer. I love that we have so many cabinets and drawers and just so many things in this bathroom. All of the brushes. And the products. <laughs> yes. And what is this? I don't really even know what to like categorize this as. products and like, I don't even know. It's another random. Like hygiene products, I guess. And sure. Care products. And light bulbs and night <laughs> lights and bath puffs. So yeah, then all of the hair products. More hair products. So pretty much all of these are just like hair products. Kind of, yeah. Nail polishes. That looks beautiful. I love that drawer. And then over here we have razors and nail polish remover. And don't forget that's where your wipes are to clean up when you brush your teeth in the morning. You make a mess with your charcoal tooth, uh, toothpaste. Bath stuff. Woo! Woo! All right, and now we'll go over here. Start over here. Here we go. All my travel stuff and makeup bags, and that looks good. All of our toothpaste because we have a variety. Okay. This is mine. That's Madison's. Yep. <laughs> Oh no, we're not gonna look at this. This is daddy stuff. I did not touch this row. This is all Jim stuff and he can deal with that because I don't know what he wants to do. With don't me. open that. I'm like, no. Very nice. Toilet paper. And finally, everything is done. Yay. I am so incredibly glad that that project is done. It has been really on my mind a lot lately and I know we all do this. There's something that constantly bothers us and it's driving us crazy and we're dealing with it every day and not putting aside the time just to get it done when it actually is not that bad getting it done, right? <laughs> so I'm really glad that I did it. I hope that this inspired you to do something in your house, even if it's not your bathroom vanity area or shower or tub that needs your attention today. There probably is a junk drawer somewhere or something that you really have been putting off doing. So I am going to challenge you to give yourself like a half an hour and just tackle it and see how far you get because it is so satisfying and something that I do whenever I organize an area of my house is once it's done, I find myself, and I did this with the linen closet that we did last week, every time I pass the linen closet, I open the door and just look inside because it's so gratifying. It is the small things that we can really allow ourselves to feel good about our little accomplishments. So let me know in the comments below if you are going to take on a project or something small around your house today. If you enjoy this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. And that's going to be it for today. I'll see you really soon. Bye.